Let me start by asking you a question. If you were going to hand off a website to a client in WordPress, what do you think their reaction would be to the dashboard, to full site editing, to Gutenberg and so on? Do you think they would embrace it and think it's a really straightforward, simple way of working? Or do you think they'd look at it, get confused, get frustrated and basically probably not want to log in at all? I'm guessing that the majority of you would answer the latter, that they would just get frustrated. Well, this is where I think we are being let down a lot by WordPress itself. And taking a look at the 6.7 release notes, what we're going to expect to see on the roadmap and so on, it is all fundamentally geared towards Gutenberg. There's the new 2025 theme and so on, but it's primarily all about Gutenberg. And love it or loathe it, it seems we're going to get stuck with that regardless. So this kind of got me thinking, how would we make it easier for users that are new to WordPress to get started. I think one of the easiest ways is to have some kind of nice onboarding wizard and training wizard and so on that shows them how to get started, where they need to go for the various different things and just eases them in gently into the whole experience. Even though it's disjointed at this point in time, it would still be nice to have something. I would love to see that uniformity, but I don't think we're gonna get that anytime soon. So. What am I talking about? What kind of wizard am I talking about? Well, well when Ollie, Ollie released the onboarding wizard, which sadly was taken out of Ollie very quickly because it got rejected from the WordPress repository, that was a really nice way of being able to onboard users. You can still access this, but you have to install it as a separate plugin from GitHub, which is probably way beyond what most people want to do. But I wanted to demonstrate today the experience and why I think something like this would be a real advantage for WordPress if they adopted this kind of approach for new users logging into WordPress for the first time. So let's take a quick look at the actual wizard itself. So this is your normal experience when you go into WordPress, into full site edit and so on. This is the more modern look, which like I've said before, I would love to see this being at least carried over for consistency into the dashboard of WordPress. But like I say, there doesn't seem to be any advancements in that anytime soon, which is a real shame. But let's take a quick look. If we come down, you can see we've got the Ollie setup wizard. We'll take a look at that in a moment. I also want to draw your attention to the learn with docs and videos. So you can browse the Ollie documents. And inside there, you can see we've got a nice set of documentation inside you, videos where relevant and so on. So you can click and you can take a look at the video. You get the idea. It's a seamless, smooth experience integrated into the uniformity of the full site editing dashboard. This is a real breath of fresh air, and this is where I really do think we should have something like this inside the native core WordPress. Anyway, so that's the documentation. Like I say, I already think this is a great way of working. You've got a video library, so you want to find out how to get started, the homepage and blog, all the things that if you are using native WordPress, pushing that full site editing, this would be invaluable to new users. How to get started. How do the homepage and blog pages work? What's a block theme? You kind of get the idea. Then if we go to the actual wizard itself, this gives us a nice step-by-step -step through how we do everything. Now you've probably seen very similar things inside Astra and so on. It's just a, such a nice way of working. So we've got our get started. So we can go through, let's get started. What do we want to do? Set our brand colors up. Imagine this now as being integrated directly into WordPress itself. So new users can add this information in if they want to. So you can change your brands from some predefined options, but you can easily change these afterwards if you want to. You can set your own brand color. Let's choose this kind of red color. It doesn't really matter. Upload your logo, any site icon. Then we can say save and continue. Now we can say what kind of page we want. So we've got the Ollie homepage, the Ollie blog page. Again, we could have this set up in a similar fashion with the latest theme. We could even have all the themes here. So you could choose one that you like the look of, and then you'd be presented with this create a page section. You get the idea. So we'll say we want to create something like a homepage. We'll have a blog page. We'll also have a features page, and we'll have a download page. You get the idea of how this works. They're all pre-built pages. We can choose what we want and then customize them afterwards. We say create those pages and continue. Now we can come in. Would we want to have the latest post on our homepage? So a typical blog setup or a custom page. Nothing you haven't seen that's available in the settings of the native core WordPress, but having it done in this way is so much nicer and more refreshing. Let's say we'll have a custom page. We choose what page we want. We'll say our Ollie homepage. You can see that none of this is rocket science. I'm sure anybody that even isn't even that familiar with WordPress or web design could easily navigate through something like this. Hit save and continue. 
we're now done. Now we can jump through, view our site, edit our homepage, edit the navigation, view documentation, create a child theme, probably a little bit beyond what most users want, but having it here is already great because when you are accustomed to working with WordPress, that's a one click and activate job, so much easier. And now we can come in and say, let's edit our homepage. We're still inside the same setups, the same experience. Our full site editing, like it or loathe it, it's still here. But now we've got all the options to start working. Now, wouldn't it be nice where we've got this design side of things down the left-hand side, that underneath at the bottom, whatever, we had video tutorials to show you how to use this. Go to the navigation, shows us navigation, a video tutorial or documentation, how to use it. Making the whole experience better and easier for the end user should be, in my opinion, a priority if WordPress wants to actually grow its user base and not alienate its user base, which we're already seeing some fluctuations in the users. And I do think that if you want to compete with the likes of Wix and Squarespace and so on, which have much nicer onboarding experiences in general and a much nicer experience with cohesive layouts, WordPress needs to up their game considerably to bring that uniform thing into actual play. We're six years into Gutenberg, multiple years into full site editing, and we're still not seeing uniformity and consistency. At least give people the ability to switch into this mode and have this the experience if you want to. At the moment, having both available with no clear distinction between them just leads to more confusion. But I wanted to just demonstrate what it could be like if we had something like this onboarding experience inside WordPress itself with one of the native themes that you've got as part of WordPress to make it a much nicer experience for new users. But as always, I'm going to throw the question out to you. What do you think? Is this a direction you think WordPress should go in? Is it something you think is, well, it doesn't really matter because I don't even use it? Let me know down below because I think it's important to have a discussion like this. As always, all applicable links are in the description down below. If you want to see my video on the UI UX issues that I think WordPress suffers from, check out this video next. As always, my name is Paul C. This is WP Tuts, and until next time, take care.